Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, rather lovely little Fiat 500L um, that's uh, lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. Hope you like them. Okay, so look around this uh, rather gorgeous J registration, so either 70 or 71. I think this is a 71 actually. Um, Fiat 500L, the proper classic Fiat 500, not the modern one. Um, finished in bright red with a uh, fold back roof. Restored 2013. And we've got photos of it being restored, and it's a lovely little thing, it really is. We're not in Rome, but uh, you can always get the flavour of, of Italy driving this. Super little thing. Right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. As I say, it was restored um, about 10 or so years ago, and it's still looking pretty good. Uh, Paintwork around the front end is all nice. The chrome's pretty good. Um, looking down the near side, it looks very straight and tidy down there. Tires look in good shape. Can't see a lot behind. The tires are quite sort of filling the filling the gap, so can't really see a lot inside the arches. Screen looks nice. Screen surround looks good. Roof covering is fine. Near side door is all good. The one thing I have noticed: there's both sides actually. There's a tiny crack in the paint just behind the sunroof here, which is starting to cause a little bit of bubbling in the paint just along there. Same on the other side as well. Let's have a look inside. Door card is all in good shape. The interior is in excellent order. It's got a modern DAB stereo with USB and Bluetooth there with an auxiliary switch for it because it's got these two um, extra power points here. So you've got an auxiliary switch under here to turn it all on. It's all carpeted as you can see. Um, dash is as simplistic as they ever are. Seats are in good shape. There's a couple of tiny nicks in the vinyl on the driver's seat. Rear seat is good. It has got rear seat belts as well. It's all fully carpeted, as we say, in red. Near side rear wing all looks good, apart from a little chip on the very tail edge of the, uh, of the wheel arch just there. Around the tail end, it's all looking pretty good, apart from a couple of little bits of blistering just coming up here. If you can see them in my reflection, you might be able to see them on the video there. Haven't broken the paints, a little bit of blistering above the um, uh, the Italian Auto Club badge. Obviously, engine cover comes off easily, and there's your little rebuilt um, air cooled engine. Again, looking down the offside, looks totally straight down there. Um, offside rear arch all looks good. Jacking points are in position. That's just a watermark running down there. Um, offside front wing is all nice. Offside front wheel. And again, inside here. Driver's door all good. Driver seat. And so we've just got a couple of tiny little nicks in the vinyl, just uh, there and a small one there. Showing 56,000 miles. And as we talked about, I say, same on this side, a slight crack just above the, um, just behind the um, folding roof and a little bit of bubbling along there where the water's got underneath it. Uh, but that's it. She's gorgeous. Really super little thing. There you have it. 